So welcome to Photoshop. We have another quick tip for you today. So this is going to be inside the crop tool and just a little another tip for you if you've yet never seen this tool before it actually is something that used to exist and it's called the scaleograph. So what we have here is the crop tool and we're going to go ahead and select that. And so this brings up your normal crop tool which is good. So in Photoshop, you can work destructively or non-destructively. So destructively means that once you apply something, it uh, once you adjust something and then you hit OK, it automatically applies it to that photo and changes its digital information. Non-destructively means you apply something to it, but it never really actually affects your original image. So we're going to use that here in the crop tool. So I'm going to select delete crop pixels. So if I select delete crop pixels and hit crop, it will automatically delete all those pixels. So they're gone forever. So if I come back in here and click the crop tool, notice those pixels are not available to me anymore. So we're going to get out of this and then I'm going to go two steps back in time. So I'm going to now click the crop tool and I'm going to unselect delete crop pixels, which is there by default in the way you normally would want to do this. So the idea is, let's say you tone an image and you want to crop something for a specific client, but you don't want to remove all these pixels because later you might come back and use them. So you can go ahead and crop this image. And so you've noticed that it's cropped and those pixels are gone. But if I click on the crop tool again and select it, notice this is non-destructive. It did not actually remove them. It just hid them from view. So that is why you should use del have delete crop pixels unchecked in Photoshop. No, it's not something you have to do, but it's just a good practice. And if you've ever seen it and had no idea what that meant, that's what it means. So having delete crop pixels is non-destructive in your quick pick for today. Any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.